Hi and welcome to Studio One 5.5. I'm Lukas Oshitska and in today's video we take a look at new functions for working with chords and scales and some more handy features in Studio One 5.5. I have a bunch of chords here in my instrument part. And if I now want to strum one of these chords, I just need to select the chord, drag the highest note, and then hold down Ctrl and Alt or Command and Option on Mac in order to strum this chord. Or if I take the lowest note, then the chord is strummed downwards. Pretty cool. One thing that not many people know is that if you hold down Ctrl plus Alt, or Command plus Option, you can draw multiple notes with the current quantization quid being applied. Now look what's possible in the new version 5.5. You can also stack notes vertically to create a chord. That's not very useful when we just have a chromatic grid, but once I select a certain scale like major or minor triad and then activate the scale quantization then I can draw in chords with exactly these scale tones. Also, importing chords into the chord track has been improved as well. We always could track instrument parts into the chord track and these parts were automatically analyzed and showed up as chord symbols. However, we couldn't do that directly with MIDI files, and that's possible now. So if you have a MIDI chord pack, you can now easily drag this MIDI file into the chord track. I don't have any MIDI chord packs, so I'll use the EPIC online orchestra website to click in some random chords quickly. That sounds pretty nice. So let's export this as a MIDI file. And now I can just drag in the MIDI file into the chord track. Pretty nice. Talking about chords, the Studio One chord selector also got some improvements and has become a bit more flexible and also a bit more intelligent in terms of different notations of chord symbols. For example, the tangents or intervals flat 5 and sharp 5 have been added, which is useful for altered chords. Also, at 9 chords, you know the, the typical pop chord that sounds like this. This chord can now also be written with a 2 like that. I myself grew up with a jazz background, so at 9 is more familiar to me, but it's great to have both options, especially when creating a lead sheet. And there are some more improvements under the hood. For example, the 6 is now shown as a 13 if we already have a 7 in our chord. And some other nerdy stuff like that. Okay, that's it for the MIDI functions. Let me still show you two new improvements in the arrangement window that are way too cool not to show them here. When you want to time stretch an audio event, you can hold down Alt or Option and just drag the event end to stretch the audio. But what's new in 5.5 is that you can now do the same thing with the event start. And that's also something that people have been requesting for a long time. And one more cool thing, we always could snap the event start to other events. But now there's a new snapping option that is called snap event end. And with this option being active, we can now also snap the end of the event to other events or to the grid. And that's really great when you want to align events accurately. If you found this video helpful, please consider to subscribe to my channel 
to not miss more Studio One videos in the future. Thanks for watching, Happy New Year everybody and see you in the next video.